It's noon. We're ready to go. Welcome to another episode of Marley's Corner, coming to you live from the Pod.com offices, hanging out in Marley's favorite spot of the office, Marley's Corner, where we talk about all things paw, our customers, our partners, uh, and of course the pet parents and pets involved. This week we have a really, really fun show. We have the CEO of Camp Spot. His name is Caleb Hartung. Um, Camp Spot is an awesome, awesome website. It's the online leader in services for premier RV resorts, campsites, lodging, anything outdoors and fun. Camp Spot is your fit, uh, place to go. So in just a minute, we're going to get Caleb joined in with us. Marley, are you ready? Oh, she's excited. Let's get this going. Hello. Hey, David, how are you? Hey, Caleb. Good, good to well. connect. How are you? Great. I've got my dog here, too. Her name is Ivy. Ivy. Is that also a French bulldog? This is a Frenchie, yep. Look at we've, that. Marley. We've got We've got a couple of them. Oh, hey, say hi to Marley. No, you don't want to play? <laughs> Check that out. A long lost relative. <sighs> yeah, we That's love awesome. we love our uh we've got two of them. They're actually sisters and uh they there's a litter be between them, but uh they get along great and they're they're such fun to travel with and go camping with and we've had a blast with them. They're they're truly awesome dogs. Um we're looking for a, a brother or sister for Marley, so Maybe I'll have to pick your brain after this call, how the dynamic is. But um, first of all, Caleb, I just want to thank you for taking time to uh, jump on to Marley's Corner and, and just have a discussion about Paw.com and Camp Spot. Um, we're super uh, excited, and this is the first time I met you, but Paw.com and Camp Spot have been working together for our, everybody watching and all, all the fans of both sides. We have a great collaboration going um, which is really cool. Uh, I, I love it personally. It was a big win for, for our team to be able to connect with you guys. Um, but I think just a, a little background would be great uh, if you can just tell all the, the viewers, uh, you know, a little bit about Camp Spot, about yourself, what you guys do, you know, your kind of origin story. Yeah, absolutely. So I've been uh, camping all of my life and uh actually got into the camping industry in, in terms of uh, owning campgrounds and, and running them about 10 years ago. And through that process, we, we realized there, there wasn't a great way to book campgrounds online. And it was a very tedious process. Uh, for anyone that's ever booked a camp, campsite online, you've probably run into issues doing that and uh, it's probably been difficult. So we set out to solve that problem and that's how Camp Spot came about. Now, today, it's the, the largest marketplace for campsites in the United States. We have over 100,000 campsites or cabins on our site that people can uh, choose, choose among. And it's a very easy, simple booking process that takes all of those uh, challenges that you had in the past booking and makes it really easy to, to get real-time um, availability. And, and in this case, for... Uh, campsites or cabins that are pet friendly and making that really simple to do. That's, that's awesome. Um, I can tell you one of Marley's favorite things in the world is going outside, especially to our backyard. She'll sit in front of our, our back door and the, the window is just filled with her, her nose prints. So she's <laughs> never been camping, but I can only imagine uh, the joy that would bring her. Um, do you guys see, a lot of more people camping with pets than than before yeah so this this summer and i am sure you're well aware of this a lot of people got pets for the first time um or yeah. uh or another pet uh i know a lot of people that got a second or or third third pet and uh we we did we saw a 40 percent increase in the number of people bringing wow. a pet with them camping which is is crazy and uh of course, camping also saw a big increase this um, summer, and uh, a lot of people brought their their pets with them, which is great. Yeah, I, I think it's the combination of of what's happening in the world in terms of more people having the time to uh, and energy for for finally getting a pet that they've ever wanted, and then also combine that with the fact that 
they want to get away and, and enjoy a vacation and being in the outdoors is the safest spot and, and something that they can do. Uh, you, yep. you put those two together and you got, you got camping with pets, right? Yeah. And it's, it's great because not everyone has to own an RV to go camping. Uh, there's lots of cabins at different campgrounds across the country that are pet friendly. Most, most every campground that has cabins will dedicate a certain portion of those to being pet friendly and it opens up camping with your pet for everyone. And the last thing you want to do when, when you go on vacation is have to leave your pet at home. You want to bring your pet with you. And that's really important and, and nice. Yeah, no, I, I absolutely agree. Anybody who's watching and wants to uh, take their pet camping um, or visiting one of your spots, what is there anything that they should uh, consider before, you know, taking the pet? Is there is there some, some kind of key things that, that you guys kind of like to stress when, when it's camping with your pet? Yeah, I think that for I was thinking thinking back to some of our trips that we've taken with our pets and some of the the things that you might forget sometimes um, or you know it's an afterthought and uh, kind of an odd thing, but for us with smaller pets, we we dish out enough food for the the length of the trip that we're going on and. Uh, We've had it many times where we wanted to extend our trip. We wanted to camp longer or stay right. longer wherever we were going. And it's, it's you know, our dogs use a special food and, and uh, for their allergies. And, and you might not be able to easily get it where you're at. So I would encourage people to pack a little dog, extra dog food. Um, that way, if you do plan on staying longer, you have that flexibility. And with a lot of people working remotely, um, this year and, and maybe a little bit next year, the the ability to easily extend your trip and uh, kind of play things ad hoc um, is much higher. And so bringing along some extra uh, food is helpful. Um, I think researching where you're going mm -hmm. and uh, if there's any other sort of dog-friendly activities near there, whether it's hiking trails or uh, many campgrounds will even let you know uh, restaurants that are pet friendly nearby. Oh, awesome. And um, even on Camp Spot, we offer a section that shows you all of the uh, local attractions and hiking trails and things like that that uh, you could bring your, your pet along to. So um, I, another big thing that we like is we have a collapsible um, dog pen. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of open air on the top. But if you're going to stay in a cabin and you don't want your dog to maybe wander around when you uh, go out on your on your own, um, it's great to have have a collapsible dog pen to uh, to put your pets in um, while you're uh, out and about doing your own thing. Yeah, no, that that's a that's a great point. Um, actually, being at the campsite, having those tools that you can have a you know fun, health or safe uh, trip is is definitely a necessity. And even the part which a lot of people I think overlook is getting to the campsite right the road trip yep. uh, to getting there is in my opinion half the fun uh, yeah and and we just came out with a brand new line of products um it's our it's a memory foam car bed and uh we designed it for situations exactly like this where you're going on a road trip you want your pet to have a nice comfortable but safe spot that's enclosed that they can lay in and feel like it's it's their zone but uh but the the road trip itself that that's that's half half the fun uh for me in in terms of uh camping but do, do you is there anything else that you guys as camp spots suggest for people to create this comfortable and safe trip to your 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 camping destinations with pets yeah there's uh, a, a couple things one is you want to keep them well hydrated and um you may not want to carry you know a full uh bowl and and have to get water um which it, you are going to need water so you're going to probably want to bring some bo water bottles along or something like that and um we've used two different uh, types of products over the years. One is you can get kind of like a, a Nalgene bottle with like a thing on the side that you mm -hmm. pull off and it, it becomes a, a bowl. So when we stop at a rest area, we just yank that off and fill it with water. And um, 
and, and the dogs can drink that way. Um, we'll also use like a collapsible um, bowl, which just, you know, flattens and it, uh, you can kind of lift it up and, and uh, then fill it with water. So those are important things to bring along for, you know, a, a car trip. Um, another thing that we encourage, and in, in this is for the safety of your, your animals, um, as well as for their own comfort, depending on where you're putting them in the car, there's these um, uh, can it be for like the back seat yeah. where um, you, you uh, kind of put it near the headrest yeah. on the seat in the back and then the seat in the front. It kind of creates this. Our dogs, at least, they don't like the fact that there's a, you know, a foot and a half drop um, in, in seeing that. And also for their safety, if you have to slam on the brakes or something, you know, deer runs across the road, you slam on the brakes, your dogs can fall and yeah. hurt themselves. So having a, um, a, a kind of canopy like that is, is helpful, I believe. And another thing I would add is also they may have a favorite dog bed that they use at home and bringing that, whether it's a memory foam dog bed or whatever it is, putting that in the car. So they have something that, that makes them feel comfortable that it, it's not completely different than what they're doing every day. There's, there's right. some attachment to that local environment. Yeah, no, uh, a lot of good points. Um, we, we have at pod.com one of those, those canopy car seat covers and, and from my own experience and driving, from here up to northern Florida, it's a uh, it's a very useful tool. Uh, just that peace of mind that you know you can clip in your dog, and then if you know, like you mentioned, if something happens where you have to slow down really quickly, they're not going to yep. fall in between the seats. Um, yep. They're going to be safe. So yeah, really, really good point. And um, Caleb, I wanted to ask you. I mean, as the CEO of Camp Spot, I'm sure you've had tons of experience camping in, in some really great places. Do you have any favorite place that you've gone? with your uh, two French Bulldogs that you guys just love? Yeah, I think that my favorite place is uh, a campground north of New York City by about an hour and a half. It's in uh, Gardner, New York. Okay. And uh, there's a ton of hiking trails around that area. There's, uh, I'm not a mountain climber, but there's there's kind of a famous uh, mountainside there that that uh, very scenic and people uh, climb, but there's a lot of hiking trails in that area, and it's beautiful. Um, we're also city people too, and so it's close enough to hop on the train and and get get into the city as well. And, and in many cases, you can actually, if your dog is small enough, bring them with you too, which is kind of fun. Oh, cool, Jeff. Do you uh, Jeff Jeff behind the scenes, our, our CMO here, he's from New York. Have you ever been to that campground? Uh, I went, you know, when I lived in New York, when I was a child, I was in the, the Cub Scouts and the Boy Scouts. Okay. So we went camping in Alpine, New Jersey. There's some big campgrounds there. Um, I don't, we don't bring any, we didn't bring any pets along, but we caught pets. We caught snakes and things like Did, that. Uh, yeah. yeah. Wasn't that your first pet? My first pet was a snake. Pet snake for Jeff what, from uh, the Cub Scouts yeah. camping. But we have, wow. some, we have some questions um, for Caleb. Yeah. 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 We got a couple questions. Yeah. It'd be uh, great. Let's so, fire them off. So um, uh, one person wanted to know, Caleb, is, is Camp Spot listing campsites all across the United States or is it in certain regions only? We're all across the United States and we're, we're growing rapidly. We have new campgrounds every single day on our platform and um, we're, we're in all 50 states. Cool. And, and in, in Canada too. Oh, that's awesome. That's great. Another person asked, uh, does Camp Spot list the best vets nearby to the different camping locations? We don't, but that's a great suggestion. We Good will idea. have to keep that in mind. Yeah, that's great. And it, it pays off just to listen to, to, the, to the folks out there, right? Yeah, I can't tell you how many ideas we've had just by listening to the feedback and the questions. That's a, that's a great, great idea. Yeah. Uh, on Camp Spot, can we read reviews from other recent campers who may have been there? Yeah, right now you can, um, we're integrated with TripAdvisor and you can uh, get a, see a rating for a property and also uh, click on a link and it will show you all recent reviews through TripAdvisor. Cool, cool. cool. I, I got it. So speaking of, of reviews and do the locations, uh, I'm assuming they show if they're pet friendly so people can filter it and, and see where they want to go based on, on, on that. Yeah. Yeah, what's great about Camp Spot is is there's really two different search functions. One is a campground pet friendly. Do they provide pet friendly amenities? 
okay. and things like that, whether it be a dog park, bark park, walking trails for the dogs. And, uh, but then also within a campground, there are going to be uh, locations that are pet friendly and some that aren't. Is the tent uh-huh. site going to be pet friendly or these RV sites or in more particular are the cabins. Some cabins are pet friendly and others aren't. So with Camp Spot, you're able to first find a campground that's pet friendly, but then also very easily when you, when you do a search and you just say, hey, I'm bringing two pets or one pet or three, it will only show you the, the inventory that will fit that number of pets. So it's very simple to, to find. And for people that have multiple pets, that's very convenient to know, okay, I can have up to two in this unit or up to three in this unit and making that search really easy. Also, what's great about Camp Spot is that uh, people can pick a specific camping site on a map. And if they want to be close to the dog park or close to some of the walking trails, oh, you can great. go ahead and, and pick the best spot that you think is good for your pet. Um, you want shade you want a more grassy area, you can choose all of those things when you're searching and find, you know, the perfect spot for your yourself and your pet. Wow. Yeah, no, it sounds like you guys have really uh, worked hard to optimize and make it easy for, for information and access to, to pet parents. Yep. But I know, I mean, as you being a pet parent, you probably appreciate that and millions of other people out there who love camping with their pets. So that, that's fantastic. Yeah. We've got a couple of um, specific questions. Uh, Howlin' Go wants to know, do you recommend a campground near Dog Mountain in Vermont? <laughs> <laughs> Getting specific now. I'm not too familiar where, what's the name of the mountain? Dog Mountain? Dog Mountain in Vermont. I think they should just go to campspot.com and check yeah, it Yeah, I think so. There. Yeah. There's some Check-up beautiful review. campgrounds in Vermont. Uh, it's a beautiful state. I'm sure there's some beautiful ones. I mean, ones it does have dog in the name, so can't be that bad right yeah yeah a lot of people are asking for specific recommendations in different in the pacific northwest in new york uh, i think all of you guys should just go to camp spot that's what they're there for someone did ask though caleb being in the, the camping industry what's been the greatest thing for you about being in that industry it's great to see being in the camping industry, hospitality industry, we're we're helping people build memories. And these are the things that you you remember um, throughout your life. And they're they're just key pivotal moments. And we're helping people find a great spot to go on vacation and then enjoy their time while they're there. And everyone has a very unique idea as to what kind of things they want when they when they want to go camping. And camp spots are a great tool to to find those spots, but really helping people enjoy their life and having the best vacation possible is, is what we're here for. That's awesome. I, and you know, Caleb, I can attest to that growing up in Canada, in Ontario, uh, my parents and my little brother and I, we went camping uh, uh, from a young age. And uh, I, I have some great memories of going up north in Ontario and, and camping for the weekend. Um, it, it's, it's a really good experience. So yeah, I, I, I love what you guys are doing there. Yeah. And that's what I, I love bringing our dogs with us. I don't really like leaving them home with a you know pet sitter. It's it's fun to bring the whole family. And and uh, I think if you ask anyone that goes on road trips, their some of their best memories are time spent in in close proximity with the family and pets. I I, I couldn't agree more. And guys, everybody listening, involved, uh, it, listening and watching, you know, during these trying times, it, it, if you wanna get away and, and have fun and be with your family. Check out Camp Spot. Um, it's an awesome, awesome tool to find that perfect spot, whether it's an RV park or lodges or campgrounds. Um, it, it's a fantastic, fantastic company. You guys are doing a great job. And Caleb, thank you so much for, uh, for joining us today and giving us a little insight. Yeah. Uh, we really appreciate it. Yeah, it was nice to meet you and, and Marley. So. Uh, thank you. Well, and, and I hope for uh, a long, great partnership between Pod.com Pod. Pod. and, and Camp Spot moving forward. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, All right thank Caleb. you. Well, thanks so much. Marley, say adios. And uh, say <laughs> bye to our, our, the two Frenchies over there, too. Yeah, they're sleeping now, you know. As usual, right? <laughs> yeah. All yep. right, Caleb. 
Enjoy the rest of your day. Happy holidays. Stay safe. And thanks again. Thank you. All right, guys. Bye-bye.